morning. It is Monday morning. We are heading down to the school to give a talk to the GCSE art students. I've got some of the frame pieces with me in my little bag in the back. I've also brought a couple of other pieces on my tablet. In case I want to have a look around, see the kind of way in which I produce the art. But I sat for a good part of yesterday evening just preparing some notes for the kind of stuff that I would like to talk to them about. Um, obviously doing something like this. I think it goes without saying that this is the biggest responsibility that I felt I've had on this entire journey. More so than doing an interview where I talked about myself with uh, RMI. More so than putting pieces of my work up anywhere. More so than just the very beginning steps of actually deciding to share my work. This is an opportunity to speak to young people who are interested in art and to try and have an opportunity to encourage them, to encourage their creativity, to encourage them that expressing yourself creatively is like a worthwhile thing. So I'm extremely excited to head in for this. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee on the way, because obviously, but no, I'm ready to go. I'd be feeling a little bit nervous now. I wasn't until I left the house and started walking, but now I can kind of, to me, the, the responsibility of being asked to do something like this and the privilege of being asked to do something like this isn't lost on me. So I think now I may be feeling a little bit of nerves, but I think that's important. It shows that you care about the thing, but very excited more than anything. But first, Kathy. We've had our morning coffee. Nice little chat. Scott and Jesse down at the crack pot, offering a few words of encouragement. So that's always nice. But uh, we're nearly here. This is going to be very, very exciting. Um, just need to make sure that I can actually find the entrance. It's this isn't the high school I went to. It isn't the school I've ever been on the campus of. So I've never actually been here. So provided I don't get lost, we're we'll doing all right. But no, I think. We're just a little bit away, so time to stop vlogging and go in and hopefully can inspire some young young people to continue following art. No big deal, no pressure. See you in a bit. So like most schools, there are quite a lot of entrances. They're all broken up into different little buildings. And I just hope I don't get lost. Because then I would have to message the teacher and say, hi, you know the way you think I'm a professional to come in here and speak to your students. Well, I've got lost. <laughs> I've got lost. And I can't find, I can't find the door. Please come and help. Oh dear. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am now leaving the city of Arma High School after spending the last, I believe, about an hour speaking to <clears throat> their, I think it was year 10, art students. And I kind of, I was gonna go and sit down with a cup of coffee and, and record a little bit where I talked about it, but I kind of want to talk about it like fresh as soon as it's just happened because, first of all, I just had an absolutely amazing experience in talking to these students. Like genuinely, it, it was so, refreshing and it was so um, fun to do for me and then of course we had students asking questions which was great it was so it's just so great to see art and like, kids that are invested and involved in it and interested in it but I think as much as I loved everything that I did there after the talk was finished and the class were leaving there was one of the students came up to me and asked if she could talk to me and she showed me the kind of art style that she was interested in and told me about how she had been doing artwork in this style but she'd kind of stopped and asked me a little bit about that how I'd mentioned in my story that I'd stopped for for 10 years and we talked away for it was probably only about five minutes <clears throat> but afterwards, she just had said that, like I had informed her to just, if this is something that 
really speaks to you and that you really love on this particular style of illustration which was kind of funny because it's exactly the sort of thing I was drawing when I was 16 but um, she, she said after talking that she, she wants to go and pick up her pencil again and start drawing this stuff and whew, the reason I wanted to just record this now is genuinely feeling actually overwhelmed with that like emotionally feeling overwhelmed with that to hear like I went in there to do this talk and I was so excited about the opportunity to promote creativity to these kids because of how important that I think it is and to have someone you kind of it's, it's not old saying the you hear of oh if I can help one person it's all worth it to have someone come up and, and just say that you talking to them has inspired them to actually go and get back into illustration is well <laughs> honestly I don't I don't um, I don't have words Here's me saying, yeah, I, I absolutely wanted to film this right away and I don't have anything to say. Um, no, feeling a little bit kind of... Whew, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. But uh, I really I really hope that that student goes. I hope she, she does pick up a pencil again. I really hope that she follows through on that. That would be wonderful. But I've had a really great time. That was absolutely one of the best things not just that I've done in this little journey, but that is just one of the best things I've ever done. It's so amazing to see young people interested and engaged in art. Like it, it really, there is nothing better than that. And I hope, hope that this is not the last time we do something like this. I am going to absolutely make sure that I get this opportunity again and that I can try and get in and hopefully speak to more students like her and everybody else that was in that room. Now we're gonna go get coffee. So we just got some more very fantastic news. Um, I've been speaking to um, a lady over at the Armagh City Hotel who's in charge of the craft fair that's going to be there on the 5th of March. So just under a month away. And there is place for me at it. So that's fantastic news. It's going to be the first ever time I will have been at a craft fair. So I'm basically going to spend the next month constantly watching a ton of vlogs of people who are going to craft fairs to try and work out what exactly I need to do. But uh, no, another great little tick on this box, another little step on this journey that we've been taking. Obviously I'd mentioned that there was the Armagh Craft Fair in May that I'm very interested in being a part of, but this is gonna be another opportunity. I actually didn't know this one was on until very recently. So very excited to be doing it. First ever craft fair, no idea what to expect, but I'll be doing a lot of research for the next little while trying to work out exactly what I want to get ready for it and what sort of products I want to get made up but yep plenty more to get done so let's go it is another fun 5am morning uh still lots of stuff to get done as I mentioned yesterday with the craft fair uh coming up in less than a month that is going to be where a lot of my focus is going to be going into not just getting the work ready itself but doing a little bit of research on what exactly i'm going to be featuring there but we do still have other work that we're currently working on at the moment that i want to get finished best way to get it done get up nice and early do a little bit of recording of the drawing of it and 
hopefully get it ready for the end of the day. Let's go. Just dropped in my application, my paperwork I should say, for the Spring Craft Fair over to the Armasa Hotel here, the venue that will be hosting the Craft Fair. So that's great. We've got our place booked, our table paid for. Um, now it's just a case of getting everything ready for the day. We've got a little bit of time, but that is everything sorted. And quite an other interesting thing happened. While I was at work, uh, as we put up in the vlog previously, we had some of our artwork put up in the crack pot in town. And while I was working, find out that one of the pieces, the illustration of the uh, Church of Ireland Cathedral here in Armagh, sold. Uh, sold to guy James McGrath, a guy that we know from work and I've been speaking to recently a guy who actually we had a great conversation quite early on this little journey that really acted as quite a big inspiration for me um, really helped spur me on in just the the general act of putting yourself out there and chasing after your dreams and not long after that everything really started coming together for me so he purchased a piece of artwork which was absolutely fantastic and yeah so another good day another piece of art sold and making more strides to the spring craft fur. There we are. I didn't quite plan that. I just realized that was up in the background. That worked quite well. I should have pretended that that was just really good cinematography. That's what it was. I'm just really good at shooting this. We're gonna go back home, uh, do normal house things, and then later on tonight, 
hopefully be able to get finished up the illustration that we've been working on. It's the next illustration in the spring emoji prompts art trends. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the base and how it's going so far. So I really can't wait to finish it up, see the final base. I'm trying to do quite a, a lot of different things in this illustration. It certainly has a different feel to a lot of the previous work that I've put up, not just because I tried to take a slightly different kind of approach in terms of drawing the environment more, but also my actual illustration process for this piece has been different than my typical one that I've been exploring for the last you know, two months. I wanted to try something a little bit different and I've been very happy with the outcome. It's, it's obviously not completely finished, but you do see the work kind of coming together during the, the illustration process and I'm very, very excited to see the final piece, to get it up online and to share it with everybody. So hopefully we'll get it finished today. And I do need to work out space and time to record the art journal video for this week because obviously with our talk in the city of Armagh High School, we, we haven't actually had the opportunity to sit down and do it. I kind of know the subject that I wanted to talk about. So I'll possibly end up doing that tomorrow. I was actually intending to potentially change the schedule of the YouTube videos anyway because I, I kind of felt that we had pushed off the Draw This In Your Style Challenge video to Thursdays instead of Wednesdays. But then it was kind of dawning on me that having a vlog go out on a Sunday and then an art journal video. I'll wait till that big lorry leaves. Having the vlog go out on a Sunday and the art journal video go up literally less than 24 hours later on the Monday is probably not the best way to maximize the amount of views that you can get onto a video because it is a lot of content in a short amount of time and I mean people are just gonna overlook it, people aren't gonna have the time to see it and I do like you have enough competition on a platform like YouTube that realistically you don't actually want to be competing with your own content so maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule might actually be best I do have to play around, like as I said, stuff like the YouTube thing, it is still a work in progress. We're still trying to figure out exactly what is the best way to do it. But I do think the current schedule does need to be tweaked a little bit. So perhaps we'll put that video out tomorrow. If I have the time to film, I'll see if it makes any difference. But still plenty more to do. Got to head home. And... Get on with it. And good morning, it is Wednesday. School run is completed, coffee run is also completed. We have dropped in another piece of our illustration that sold in the crack pot yesterday, just to have another bit up there. Um, we also completed and uploaded our most recent illustration onto Instagram last night. There's a piece I was talking about yesterday that I did try a slightly different illustration style and I was very excited to see the final piece coming together. And yeah, when it, when it actually was finished, I was so happy with the final outcome. It was great to get it uploaded, to get people to be able to see it. So far, there has been a really positive reaction to it. People really do seem to enjoy it, which is great. Um, again, it's one of those things, these kind of challenges on the likes of Instagram, they get a lot of people looking at it. So the better work that you can put out into those kind of environments. It's always something that's going to be really beneficial for helping grow the account. And we picked up a couple of people who had followed the account following the illustration, but what I actually noticed was it was quite a, I would say, larger than normal spike in views overnight on the YouTube channel across a couple of different videos. So you would have to think that those two things were related. But it's great to see. It's great to see that then when people are seeing the illustrations, not only are they going far enough to go into your profile on Instagram to see the other work that you've created, but they're looking beyond that to see what other kind of stuff that you're creating. And I know like I do put it quite out there on the profile, you know, every time I post up a new video, I do post the links to it into the feed. So they're there and they're very easy to be seen. But it's just good to know that people are actually taking the time to see it and that kind of thing is working. They're prepared to go beyond just the artwork that I've uploaded onto the page. They want to go in and check out the content. The fact that it was all across multiple videos shows me that there were people that then went on to watch further content after whatever initial video they clicked on to. So all very good. But now I gotta go get coffee. 
I have just finished recording the art journal video. I actually didn't expect, I, I hadn't planned to do it this morning and just it happened that I had a very, very small window of free time. So I thought, yeah, you know what, we'll just get it done because it needs to be done. It would normally be recorded on a Monday, but we were busy. We had our, our talk to the students at the City of Armagh High School, so we had to do it at some point. So it's done now. And I really think that I rambled so much and I'm working out that like I need to be in work in like three minutes. Like I don't even have shoes on, so that's fun. Anyway, yeah, that's done. Gonna be uploaded by the time this video goes up. Linked in below. I gotta go. I gotta get to work. Cheerio. Hello. It is late on Wednesday night. I'm extremely tired. I look extremely tired. Uh, but we're currently actually just sitting here editing together the art journal video that I recorded earlier on today. But I uh, wanted to do a quick little bit of recording here for the vlog because I realized that while I was doing this we got a little notification uh, from Instagram and someone had followed the account but it, it kind of then clicked in my head and I had to go in and check and realize that yeah that that little follow means officially we are now sitting at 200 followers over on the Instagram page which is pretty amazing you know I think it was the vlog two weeks ago where I sat and talked about how at that point we had just hit 100 followers one of the things that I mentioned in that video was, you know, numbers on social media is, I think, a very skewed thing. But realistically, if you just look at it in its simplest form, it means there's 200 people and 200 accounts out there who are interested in, you know, following and, and viewing your art, which, I mean, that's incredibly gratifying. 200 people is such a massive amount of people. Obviously, the whole interconnectivity of the world that we live in with the internet and social media kind of it just muddles up that stuff in our heads a lot but 200 people who are interested in seeing the art that you create that's an incredible thing and uh, definitely as i've said before all of those little wins and all of those little things should be celebrated and so i just wanted to have a little shout out about it we are at 200 followers and i'm still going i'm still growing and I can't wait until the next time in one of these vlogs I get to mention it 300 and then 400, 500, 600 and everything else after that. Anyway, I'm going to finish this video and get it uploaded and hopefully get a little bit of sleep. Just a little bit. That'll be nice. Cheerio. <laughs> that's on at the minute. It's uh, kind of interesting, it's actually um, an exhibition that's been put up with works created by uh, people who use the service and work for the uh, Southern Trust. Um, so it's very interesting to see the variety of different styles that are on display, but I had a quick little look in at it and I'd seen it up and advertised and knew that I wanted to come in and get a look around. So 
Let's see. Checking out the exhibition, we realized there's also this very, very cool, really, really interesting uh, wood turning exhibition, which is uh, so many different, just such a variety of different pieces that are all created out of out of wood entirely. Like, I'll try and do a quick little walk around where I, I film most of the pieces that I can see. But you've got things ranging from bowls and pens to more decorative floral pieces to actually a hat entirely carved out of wood. So. Not what we came here to see, but absolutely incredible pieces. Let's have a little look around. just getting ready for this morning we've quite an exciting morning this saturday uh heading up to the armagh robinson's library there's an event being hosted by paul howard the well-known children's book illustrator uh he's putting on a demonstration which is actually aimed at children um as soon as i seen it it was one of those things that i've talked about before where you know you kind of see opportunities to you know further your own career but also just to get a chance to kind of network and interact with other people that work in the industry and when they're there you should take them so i'm very excited to go up basically to see the work that he's doing see you know what kind of stuff that he workshops um and also hopefully get an opportunity to speak to him um also just the armagh robinson's library as well it's a building that i've always wanted to go to it's 
you know, it's not like a, a normal library. You can't just walk in. It's appointment based or used specifically for different events that they would host. So I've always wanted to go, but I've never actually got around to doing it. So very excited to go and see it. Anyway, need to get ready. Let's go. incredibly successful time today with our um, trip up to the Robinson's library we got speaking to uh, Paul Howard which is you know wonderful he was fantastic at the event but the fact that whenever I did take the time to actually speak to him you know he, he took the time he you know was very he like, listened to what I said he offered advice um, you know this is a guy that's been working in children's illustration for 30 years who's you know illustrated books that have ended up in classrooms all over the country, all over the world, and for him to sit and kind of listen and offer advice when he was speaking to you, and not just that, but he then pointed me in a lot of directions for, you know, information regarding publishing and how that works, because that's something that I have absolutely no idea about, like I don't know anything about the kind of children's book publishing world or anything like that, but he has so much good advice regarding to it, but then also give me further contact details for himself in case I ever needed any additional um, information or, or anything like that which is absolutely incredible you know you think someone who's had their career did what they've done for them to be so forthcoming with information and you know encouraging in that way is an incredible thing but beyond that he pointed me in a direction of a few different little communities that exist online particularly working with you know, illustrators that are local. So that kind of networking can be extremely, extremely useful. But yeah, it was a very good time we had speaking with him and just I was incredibly gracious and incredibly thankful that he took the opportunity. I've since dropped him an email, just um, kind of thanking him for his time and had a few sort of questions to follow up on the conversation that we had. Not just that, the kids had a fantastic time too. They really, really loved it. He was brilliant, but uh, very good day all night. I actually stopped recording there before I said we also got the next illustration put up of the forest emoji art uh, challenge over on Instagram so that's been up and already getting a really good response so happy days onwards and upwards. And there we go that is the end of the vlog for this week it has been a tremendous week there's been so much stuff going on um Part of the reason why the video is probably the longest piece of content we've uploaded onto the channel. Uh, so if you've stuck around for the entire video, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. But yeah, it's been an incredible week. Um, obviously everything at the very beginning of the week with uh, the City of Armagh High School and the opportunity that they presented to me. Um, that was fantastic. It's certainly something that I hope that I'm able to document further down the line when I get more of these opportunities. It is something that I'm currently looking into. So fingers crossed when I have more information, I'll be able to share it on here. As well as that, uh, getting to put up some very good pieces of work that I was very proud of this week. A um, couple of little milestones for the channel, a couple of milestones for the Instagram account. And obviously meeting uh, Paul Howard this weekend was absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic week. But I have already put in so much content into this video that you don't need to be watching anymore. Subscribe to the channel, check out all the links below. Links to all my recent videos, links to all the other social media channels. And I'll see you again for the next one. Cheerio.